I have to talk to you guys about this new Chinese drama. It's called New Life Begins and that's on iQIYI. And this one, it seems at first like a super conventional uh, Chinese drama, historical romance in the palace sort of thing. They do hundreds of those. It's super common. But what makes this one so unusual is that the more you watch it, I'm on episode 20 now. Once you hit episode like five, then you hit episode 10, you start to see more and more feminist ideals. This entire thing is a feminist show. I don't know how it passed censorship. It starts out by having the female leads and they're normally in these palace romances. They're all very conniving against each other. They're all enemies trying to compete over who can marry the, the prince they want to marry. And it's not like that. There are, there's this real element of sisterhood in this. But not only that sort of sisterhood element, but you also have these elements where they're fighting against this like idea that the women are commodities and to do these peace marriages between these countries. They're like basically fighting against that. They talk about the relationship between the man having a legitimate wife and then having a concubine and what that kind of means for the concubine. And then in the later episodes, not trying to spoil it, but you have these women, women able to run their own business, being able to leave their husbands when they want to and be able to support themselves. Like full feminist ideals that I've never seen in a Chinese historical drama ever. So you have to check it out. It's on iQIYI and I'm definitely gonna stay up to date because I've got to see how they, how much of the system they're going to overthrow from the inside as like the women, the concubines, the wives um, of these like princes. It's, it's just very interesting to see them overthrowing the system. They're educated. They're um, emotionally smart. They're able to get things done in a way that the men are not. And the women all support each other. It's beautiful.